Okay. Tiny bus. We got some major cleaning to do today so I can like decorate a little bit in here for Christmas. And uh don't know about her yet. Walmart had nothing last night. I went to go get some garland just to hang up. And uh they had nothing. Anyway. There's my necessary evil. Oops, there we go. Buckets full of wood. I gotta find out, figure out something else better than that. So I better get busy. Here's my bus bedroom. Nothing too special. And I just tried to make it just a little bit festive. I love Afghans. Love Afghans. Not so much, I don't know if it's really the Afghan. But it's knowing that somebody sat and did it. Somebody's granny did it. Great granny did it. That one over there is actually a poncho. And it's super cute. So anyway. It's a few of my things. That's my tray from the $5 Goodwill Challenge. And some of my doodads that I collect. Sometimes I think... Uh, our collections find us and we just gravitate towards certain things and uh, right now I'm into vintage covered wagons uh, I think it's because we live in the bus and moved on to our property and anyway that's what I like right now somebody's outside all right I'm back uh, I just hung a little thing in the window there make it the lighting a little bit better but, uh, uh, what I was saying about the covered wagons, you know, we moved on to our little homestead. We have six and a half acres out here and we're staying in our bus, which to me, that's what the pioneers did. They came in their covered wagons and, uh, stayed on their property in that. And I, and I, I know who owned the property first. I'm just saying I'm into the covered wagons. I'm also into a lot of other stuff too. But anyway, <laughs> just like the little, that has nothing to do with it either, but I just am into the vintage. These were the early RVs, all the little covered wagons. This is what happens when you make a nice comfy spot. Charlie, why don't you lay in your bed? Charlie, you have your own bed. See that spot right there? With the dragon in it, there's a, a ray in it. That's his bed. That's his spot. Why don't you get in your spot, crazy dog? Anyway, that's the bed area. I'll probably have the other one another day because this will get destroyed before I get that done, and I've got to get ready for work. So you guys have an awesome day, and I'll be adding to this, or this will be at the end. I don't know. I'm really tired. So anyway, <laughs> bye. All right. See, told you it wouldn't last long. I just kind of threw the blanket back up on the bed. Mostly wanted to show you is this little Yahoo. He got up late, went potty, came back, and he's laying in there because I have a heated mattress pad, and he's <laughs> he's keeping his belly warm. You keeping your belly warm on your little foot, Charlie boy? You silly guy. You silly guy. I know, I'm silly. Pet talking, y'all. This is the day in the life. Now it's time to get something mess done. Let's get crafty or something. Even if it's wrong. Alright guys. Here from the bed, from the bed area in the back, we look forward into the bus. This is all pantry shelving here and on to my left because we had a we had a big house in town and so I had a really big pantry. So this these two big shelves hold food. Anyway, there's my sweet little antique potbelly stove which we have humming this morning because it's we had our really first hard freeze I think last night. All that brick there is like for a uh, uh, I forget what they call it, but anyway, it's going to hold the heat. It gets, it absorbs the heat from the fire and it'll hold it in here longer. And lots of, when you have a fireplace, 
it's just going to get dirty. So, it is what it is. I'll say that a lot. There's where our little wood is. We've got kindling down there and dry wood there. Little, you know, packages or bags is, uh, that's a latch hook, latch hook rug. This is, this was a little cabinet that we had we thought was going to be the kitchen part, but we really don't need it for the kitchen part because we have the well house that has the microwave, refrigerator, and coffee pot and stuff over there. It's all crafty stuff, so I just kind of keep my crafty spot in one place. I don't know if I'm supposed to show this or not. My daughter gave me this. She always gives me something peanuts. They cycle through about three different songs. But anyway, it's just where I have some of my crafty stuff or pay the bills. This is our little Christmas tree this year. It's kind of got a 70s grandma vibe. And yeah, that's the thing of barbecue beans. I didn't put away because I think they got left out. Side, never been opened. Fans, necessary evil to push the air around from, from the front to the back. And there's my mid-century modern TV cabinet. And my giant pineapple bowl full of candy that the 14-year-old has just about blown through. He's fixing to be 15 this month. Oh, Lord, y'all. This is his junk in there. And, uh... I'm not going to mess with it right now because this whole thing after Christmas is coming back out of the bus. And we're going to build a banquet with the actual mattress on it. Because that's where he sleeps. He's already outgrown the couch. So, and I put up this wood on the windows. Uh, and there's insulation behind it just to help. So we got a little bit of festive stuff going on. Anyway, that's all it is. I tried. This is our year for the make do Christmas. We're just make making do with what we've got because he's not going to let me pull out everything I've got and I wouldn't have room for it all anyway. That's just a pile of stuff I need to take over to the outdoor kitchen. Which maybe I'll get to get that fixed up and show you that too. Anyway, that's it. So that, that just kind of stays cluttered. I'll get it cleaned up and decide where everything's going to go. But that's it. That's all I got. And uh, anyway, cleaning out, cleaning this up, I found two forks. And because, uh, you know, the boy would rather get in trouble for leaving, hiding silverware than he would... For walking 10 feet to take it to the sink. He'd rather get yelled at than have to actually go do something. Anyway. Or every day this toe kick underneath the couch here. And then there's like another little. There's my broom I just used. Uh, that will have Gatorade bottles. Water bottles shoved in there. Because he would rather hide it, shove it, get yelled at later. Than to actually go two feet to a trash can. Because they don't care. <laughs> anyway. Joys of heaven. Teenage boys. But anyway. I hauled this in a Goodwill haul one time. These were all just pieces. And I sewed them together just to make myself a, a little throw wall hanging thing. So it's not completely finished. But I liked it to hang up. And another one I was going to show you. That I like to do. This right here. Because I like this pat these patterns right now. It looks like I have a throw. That's actually a wool skirt. I just find 
wool skirts at the thrift store. You can throw them over and make pillows out of them. So just a lot of fabric. But anyway, I have it hanging there so it looks like a little throw. But it's actually a wool skirt. In disguise. So anyway, that's it. That's my bus. And we're living here to stay. That's what I needed to talk to you about. We're living here so we can... Uh, Hey, we're just paying on the property, going to work on building our house, and try to stay as debt-free as possible. So That's why the bus is here, and that's why we're staying in it. Anyway, like I said, mo and most of the stuff's thrifted, like that picture and stuff. And I like to use clothing as decor. I don't know if anybody else does, you know, festive clothing. It's all the right colors. So why not? Anyway, you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you later. Bye. Here's a little bit of the outside of our bus. This is like my work in progress. There's all my vintage ice chests and stuff. Coolers. It's like coming together. I need to do a DIY on how to do these. That one's not complete. It's not completely put together either. But uh, I should add a few more lanterns to this. There's my front door. The Hubster's built. My bail box that I did for Auntie Cuckoo's Craftmas. $10 challenge. And there's Clyde. Clyde's a handful. He's like having another teenage boy. Aren't you, Clyde? Anyway, there's my little tree. This one's real. I have it in my ice cream can freezer container, a vintage one. And this little pillow was made out of a chunk of that wool blanket scraps that I had gotten. And then my minnow bucket has lights in it that come on at night. Like I said, this is just our mate do Christmas. Like, I'm not even got enough stuff filled in here yet. And I just took what I had out that I'd thrifted lately. Oops, see, there's another little covered wagon. And, uh, threw on here. I had thrifted these little jello, jello molds not that long ago. So, there's Clyde. He's a kitten, but he's like having a 15-year-old boy. They're a hot mess. Anyway. That's our bus. Looks pretty cool at night. If I can, I'll throw in a little bit picture of it at night. Okay. What do you think, Cloudy Pants? Do you like it? Do you like it? You want to tear it up, don't you? Alright, guys. <laughs> this guy's hilarious. Alright, bye. Anybody else deal with this? You're, tr you're busy, you're on a roll, you're trying to get your laundry done. There's always that one person that wants to keep you from getting your work done. Really, Clyde? Really? It's not your hidey hole. I'm just got to dry clothes. <laughs>